Writers in North Carolina have a reputation for generosity in the connections they make. Connections with audiences, connections with other writers, and especially connections with aspiring writers. North Carolina's Poet Laureate position connects the writing community and the public, urging citizens from across the state to enjoy the written word. With the naming of Kathy Smith Bowers, a nationally recognized poet and a distinguished ed educator as the newest Poet Laureate, Governor Purdue's commitment and support of this program is evident. As we celebrate Kathy's induction today as Port Laureate, we also want to say a very big thank you to Catherine Stripling Beyer for five wonderful and transformative years for us. Here's to the land of the longleaf pine, the summer land where the sun doth shine, where the weak grow strong and the strong grow great. Here's to down home, the old North State. Congratulations, Kay. So this is winter noon for Kathy, and it's set in Silver, North Carolina, and it has, it takes off from one of my favorite poems by Federico Garcia Lorca, Romance Sonambula. Verde que te quiero verde, green how I want you green. We've seen how stems snap, the leaves fall, the rain soaks, how ice weaves its blanket around weeds and garden. Now we raise our glasses to what we see cover the rooftops of downtown, gray mountains waiting beneath scales of cloud like the ones we know fall from our eyes when we see how each poem comes alive in the midst of our cold times. A small hook that yearns through the mute sod, our throats tight with keening, it's coming forth the tip of our tongues against bedrock. Years ago, in one of the slickest of the slick literary journals, a poet whose name I have forgotten, perhaps intentionally, asserted that there were just too many people out there writing poems these days, thus threatening the august status of poetry as a literary genre. I was astonished and thrilled when another poet countered that assertion, insisting that in a country of 250 million people, there should be 250 million poets. My own philosophy of what this business of poetry is all about has been concisely expressed by poet and editor A. Poland. Poland states in the introduction to contemporary American poetry that the very act of writing poetry is an affirmative one, saying no to any force that would destroy the human spirit. And Richard Hugo, in his amazing little classic, The Triggering Town, compassionately asserts, it is possible for a good teacher to get from a student one poem or one story that far exceeds whatever hopes the student had. It may be of no importance to the world of high culture, but it may be very important to the student. It is a small thing, but it's also small and wrong to forget or ignore lives that can use a single microscopic moment of personal triumph. In my own almost four decades of writing poetry and teaching the writing of poetry, I believe my own greatest triumph to be not the poems I myself have composed, but those single microscopic moments of personal triumph I have witnessed in the hundreds upon hundreds of students, both young and old, who have passed through my poetry classes and workshops. That North Carolina continues to support the tradition of state poet laureate is in itself an affirmation of the intellectual, emotional, and spiritual power of poetry. 